Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know this is weird. It's like a face-to-face -face coloring video. Uh, I don't usually do it that way, but I was set up this way. And I have just a quick haul of some supplies and new books that I got, and I thought I would show them to you. So I got my Wonder Woman t-shirt on today, if you're wondering what that is. Because <laughs> I heaved my giant bosom into the camera, just what everybody wanted to see, right? <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, I picked up some pencils. I was in need of a few pencils, and um, I went to Blix. Um, I don't go there very often. It's really close by though. It's only about four miles from my house, but, um, I just, I needed some new pencils. And so I went in there, um, and I picked up two of the Prismacolor white pencils because my one pencil is, uh, my one white pencil is almost gone. So I wanted to grab some more of those, um, uh, because it seemed to go through the white ones really, really quickly. Let me get the other ones out of the bag here. They're in like a, they're in like a tall, tall paper sack <laughs> from Blix. Um, and then I also grabbed two of the cobalt, cobalt turquoise because I have a backup 72 set um, for my 150s. I'm currently using my 150 set. I have a backup 72 set, but I went through and I looked for some colors that I knew I was gonna be needing soon and that were not included in the 72. Um, and two of them were, one of them was the cobalt turquoise. So I grabbed two of those. I reach for this a lot and I'm using it in my bokeh background on the color on the page I'm doing right now and I'm going through it quite a bit. And then the other one I got was neon pink. So I grabbed two of these because the neon pink is only included in the 150. And um, I love this pencil. I use it a lot. So I thought, well, I'll grab two. That way I'll have those. And then because it was cheaper if you bought more than six or whatever. So I also picked up a canary yellow, which is in the... Uh, 72 set but I I'll be needing one soon I use that one quite a bit so I thought it doesn't hurt and also the Tuscan red that's another one that I use a lot so grabbed those um, at Michael's they were having a sale like clearance just a clearance sale um, we were browsing for some different stuff and um, it wasn't like anything in particular but um, oh Keith needed thread <laughs> he sews. <laughs> yes, my husband sews. He mends his own clothes and stuff like that. And so he was, um, a button fell off of a shirt he has and he wanted some gray thread. He didn't have any gray and we went into Michael's so he could get some gray thread. And, uh, I was looking at stuff that was on clearance and they had this Create 365 little washi roll, um, on sale for $3 and 47 cents. So I grabbed that and I thought that these were really, um, you know, I would really use them. I love this black and white floral one. I will, I think at Halloween, uh, that'll be cute. Um, I really like this. I really like the, the one down here. So, um, kind of like a turquoise and black and silver collection. And then up by the checkout, they had like the mini rolls of washi that were three for 99 cents. And I grabbed a couple of those also because I thought they were really cute. So I grabbed six of them. One is this little one with daisies on it. I thought that was really cute. Um, here's a red one with little white hearts. I thought that was cute. Um, this one is really cute for Halloween too. It's like the witch feet and witch legs. I thought that was cute. Uh, black and white polka dots. I don't have anything like that. This one uh, I was thinking I'll use for uh, Christmas in July. And also this one is really cute for Christmas in July. It's like gifts, turquoise and red color. And I thought that was an unusual little combination. So I grabbed those. And then I have three new books, which I will do flip throughs of, um, probably not today, but I'll do them in the next couple days and get them out. So at Barnes and Noble, we were in there buying some books for my mom for her birthday. Um, and Keith has been wanting this one for a while. This is Tolkien's World. Um, and a fantasy coloring book. And this is not like the Lord of the Rings. So these images are from the books of Tolkien rather than the movies of Tolkien. So um, if you want to see a flip of this, let me know. I will I will do that if you guys are interested in it. Um, it's a pretty nice book. And he likes it because it's not images from the movies. So he feels like his imagination can, you know, he can come up with a lot more than, than the ones from the Lord of the Rings official books or movies. I'm sorry. So let me know if you want to see flip throughs of that one, but I will do flip throughs of these two for sure. Um, this one is Misfits, a Halloween coloring book for adults and spooky children. Number six, I believe. So these have been out for a while. 
I'm kind of new to the Misfits game. I bought the Misfits Coloring Heaven special, and um, so I was really excited to have that. And um, but now I'm kind of interested in purchasing more of the Misfits books. And then I got um, this new Deborah Miller Gothic Beauty, which actually I believe Deborah is going to have another new book out this week by the end of the week called Freak Show, which ought to be really fun. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I will definitely do a flip of this one also. Uh, so yeah, that look for that for sure. I will film the flip through for that and Misfits in the next couple days. And if you want to see a flip through of the Tolkien's World book, let me know and I'm more than happy to do that also. So that is it for my little coloring book and coloring supply haul. Um, I think my camera is probably going to run out of space. I've been filming Avon videos today, so I don't have a lot of space left on my card. So um, yeah, hopefully... I'll get this ended before it shuts off. But thank you guys so much for watching. Question or comment below. And I will get back to you when I can. And see you in the next video.